We won't see the Chinese today. Up in lane one, there will be Moldova, then Australia, Spain, France, Greece and Croatia. So over there on the far side, closest to us, Ivan Kornisov, Chirili, Vistoshi, Sechkov. Outstanding, brilliant, amazing to see the Moldovans in this final. What can they do over there in lane one? In lane two, the two Aussies, Australia. David Bartholo up Antel. in the bows of the Australian boat from Sydney University Boat Club, Caleb Antel, in the stroke seat from the quad that picked up a bronze in, in Tokyo. Spain, Closest to us, Rodrigo Conde Romero, Alex Garcia Puloja, Spanish flying here in the men's pair, also in this men's double. Oh, can anyone touch these two? The Olympic champions, Mathieu Androdias, closest to us with the cap on. Hugo Boucheron, furthest away, been in singles all year, that French double, now teamed up, and uh, outstanding results here. So, Athanasios Palapanos, closest to us in the stroke seat, and uh, Johannes Kalandridis, furthest away in the bows. Almost no introductions needed. Valen Sinkovic, the Croatian strokeman, thumbs up. Nice to see them reacting to the salute of the crowd. Martin Sinkovic in the bows, Olympic champion in the men's pairs, Olympic champion from 2016 in the men's double skulls. Didn't have the best semi-final, got beaten by the French and the Greeks. What will they bring out? Hopefully their A game to this race today. Well, as you say, Martin, will the Sinkovic brothers bring their A game and will they be able to challenge from over here on this side lane? as we take a look at the Australians going off, but it was the French who got out and controlled the semi-final when they raced against the Croatians. Here they are on lane six. It looks like it's the Spanish who've got their bow in front at the moment. Uh, we saw, as you said, that Spanish pair yesterday did so well. The Spanish double here just jumped out in front. The Sinkovic brothers going with them, Spain right in there too. Spanish team really on a high here that great result in the men's pair yesterday and uh, Rodrigo Conde Romero closest to us winding his boat up in the first part of this race as we clear 250 gone yeah and that's a pretty relaxed looking 44 strokes a minute you saw in that Spanish double but the French the Olympic champions moving about a canvas into the lead now they look really dangerous in this race they just have such Beautiful technique, maybe a little little pop on top of the water there with the blade, but really looking steely in the middle of the course with this early race lead. The French will lead this race through the 500 metre marker. Feels pretty fast already, doesn't it? We're out here through 500 metres. The French have got that half length. The rest of the field pretty much in a line. Just a second slower than the Sinkovic's when they set that world's best time in Amsterdam. They're over here in lane six. But can anyone stop this French double? Talking to Mark Prater, the Australian coach of the men's eight here, he said that the French do have a fantastic sprint finish at the end. They're very flexible in any part of the race, Sarah. So we ride here with the incredible Sinkovic brothers. They came through that 500 metre marker in fifth. Do they have a response here? because they really seem to be struggling with these leading crews. But the Aussies now overlap with the French. They've got their canvas overlapping the stern of the French. They've made a move in the second 500 here, coached by Lyle McCarthy, the sculling coach of Kim Brennan, looking after this men's double skull who came together when Dave Bart Bartolo in the bow seat was actually the spare filling in for Jack Cleary, but had that fantastic result in Lucerne, which then sealed them as the double to come to this World Championship. Well, interesting to see how that Australian double is going with the Spanish there up on that far side of the picture. That Australian double got the silver in Lucerne, but here they are in silver medal position. I wonder if they'll be able to hold it. And uh, here we go. That French double have just opened more of a lead in the second 500. I'll tell you what, we've had some great performances here at the World Championships, but uh, I think this is my contender for crew of the championships. The French men's double skull, coached by Alexis Bessonson, peerless in this event. I think they'll continue to move away from the field. The Aussies, amazing skull from them, Sarah, absolutely brilliant. The Greeks finished second in that semi-final there in the foreground. 
the Aussies having a row here, but they're going to have to do that in order to make the medals because the standard of this event is so hot. It looked to me as though the Sinkovich brothers were starting to get themselves back into this race. Do they have something in the second half of the course? But the Aussies currently sitting in second, just trailing the French, but the Spanish starting to come back into this race. It looks hard work in that Sinkovich brothers boat doesn't it i mean i think they might be able to force their way back um, to, up into a medal but they've got an awful lot to do if they're to do that for me at the front of the field the french as you say martin just look absolutely fantastic yeah so fluid on the recovery just uh nothing fussy on the lock there's hardly any splash when the blades go in time completely with the slide as it arrives at the front stops and uh spain trying to push the the Sinkovich brothers out of a medal. And as it is, looking at the Spanish there, they're the highest rating boat on the course. They're already up at 41 strokes a minute. Australia are overrating them. And at the moment, they've been able to hold that position. Will they be able to hold it now, Sarah? Yeah, here come the Spanish. We see Caleb Antill from the Australian National University Boat Club. Look across to his left. He can see the Spanish coming. Sinkovich is, might miss out on the medal unless we see that spectacular finish. We did see it from them in the Belgrade World Cup, but they're off the back coming through the 500 metres to go mark. It's going to take something special from them, and I think they've front-loaded their race, guys. Well, the Sinkoviches are a special boat, but they've given themselves an awful lot to do. I personally can't see them getting through here to the podium unless something goes wrong in the other boats. I could be proved wrong, of course. For me, it's about the Spanish and whether they can hang on for that silver medal or whether Australia can go again. As it is, Australia are up to 40 now. They're pushing. I think they're coming back on the Spanish. And we can't see it here, but at the back of the field, Moldova currently sitting in fifth, Greece in sixth, but they're not going to be contesting for the medals. It's these four boats out in front of the field. The Sinkoviches look across, but I think you're right, Greg, 250 metres to go. There's too much to do. But here goes the race for the gold, silver and bronze. Australia and Spain locked together. Bouchard and Androdias, they have a clear water lead coming through to the lunch tent. It's the Australians in silver medal position. But Garcia Pulova and Conde Romero are battling and they're just getting their bows in front of the Australians. This is toe to toe to the line, but it's the race for the silver and bronze medals. The Sinkovic is out of it back here in fourth place. Well, as we say, France looking good, but what about this move that we've seen from the Spanish? They're up to 46 strokes a minute. They've moved on the Australians. Here we go, coming down to the line. Spanish even moving back on the French. Isn't this exciting? Australia in bronze medal position. Spain going back on the French as we speak. But France have done enough to come through and take the gold medal. Boucheron and Androdias, world champions, Olympic champions, Spain silver medalists, Australia bronze medalists, great skull from the Aussies and the Spanish. Croatia, well, the 2016 Olympic champions back in fourth place. Moldovans, great result from them to finish fifth and ahead of the Greeks. Vistoshi Shetchikov and Kornusov will be delighted with that finish in the A final. Greece crossed the line in sixth place. And the Croatians will have to wait for next year to see if they can make it 50 medals at this World Championship, the last regatta of the season, sensationally missing out on a podium finish. Well, another fantastic silver medal for the Spanish team. They got it in the pair yesterday and a great skull from them in the double. They were so flexible, so easy with their rhythm and a great skull as well from the Australians. Who would have thought the Sinkoviches wouldn't make the podium, wouldn't make a medal. Yeah, not many people, that's for sure. These two, les patrons, les patrons, the bosses. And uh, nobody really across that season. I'm at Ogu Boucheron has had all that, you know, difficulty coming back from Tokyo Olympics where they were gold medalists. He had depression and, you know, tried to find his love for rowing back in the single yeah no we only saw them in singles earlier on in the season didn't we and we sort of thought i wonder what's going on tokyo champions not even getting in the double but now they've got in the double and they've delivered on the world stage brilliant gold medal for the french ahead of spain and australia <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.